Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another tutorial and today's video is about this glamorous, chocolatey, glittery kind of look. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please keep watching this video to find out how to recreate it. I'm going to begin by applying an eyeshadow base and this one is by MAC. It's their paint pot in the shade Soft Ochre and I've had this one for a while so it's a little bit dry. I'm going to apply very little. Then I'm going to take this Tarte eyeshadow palette from their holiday collection. I'm going to put the name in the description box below and I'm going to work this color into the crease and upper crease area with the fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna go over back and forth movements and circular movements as well just keep blending it and keep adding a little at a time in between color applications I'm going to clean the brush and just go around the edges to blend it out and make sure it's nice and smooth this is our first transitioning shade but also it's going to peek through the next shade so make sure that it's really well blended just go over as many times as you feel comfortable and when you see it's nice and smooth you can move on to the next shade and this is a micro shadow by the makeup store I love this brand the quality of shadows is amazing and that size is huge so you get your money's worth definitely so I'm gonna work this shadow on the outer part of my eye that outer V outer C whatever you want to call it and into the crease area as well so make sure you go back and forth and keep adding keep dabbing it in the corner and this will darken the look and make it appear very nice and sultry now I'm gonna clean this brush and just go around the edges to blend it out you can see it's taking shape it's getting that nice and smooth look Sorry for the background noise, that's my bird, <laughs> he's nice and loud today, he decided to speak, so if you guys hear him in the background, please ignore him. I'm thinking of having another video to show you guys of Kasuku and see what he's been up to, he's been very um, verbal lately, he learned so many new words and phrases, so I want to show him off to you guys, and he can say hi. So I applied some of that dark brown shadow with a pencil brush on the lower lash line to warm it up and I blended it out using the same blending brush. And then I'm going to align my waterline with some brown eyeliner pencil. This one's by Max Factor. And I'm going to take this micro shadow by the makeup store and I'm going to place that on the lower part of my lid. Don't go all the way out, so just stop somewhere past mid part of the lid. And don't go all the way up, you just want to highlight that lower part of the lid basically that's where the glitter gonna go so once you nicely dabbed it on you can take a blending brush and just go around the edges so the two colors can smoothen into each other really well then once we're done blending we're going to apply this LA Splash Cosmetics glitter and this is very very nice and easy to apply it's very fine and also stays throughout the day I actually prefer this glitter over the other cosmetic glitters that are pretty chunky because this one is really really nice and fine and that's what I prefer basically so it comes in different colors I have this one only unfortunately I need to get more of these I'm going to highlight my tear duct areas with this white eyeshadow by the makeup store it's the same one I applied on the lid I'm using this small concealer brush by Sigma to do that. I'm going to dab on some of that glitter just to brighten my eyes. Just make sure you don't apply too much of it. And highlight the brow bone with the same white eyeshadow. I'm basically using only three eyeshadows for this look. So it's super easy. Now I'm going to line my lids. And for this I'm using the gel liner from Anastasia's collection. And this one is in the shade Sable. It's a dark chocolatey brown shade. You can also use this one if you run out of deep brow, so you can use it on the brows as well. I've done that before and it worked fine. It glides on super easy because I just opened it actually a few weeks ago, so it's still nice and new. I'm using MAC 208 Angle Brush to apply that and first I've created the wing and now I'm just filling in the rest. Make sure it's not too thick, you want it nice and as thin as possible basically not too thin either so I think this works for me and as you can see this glitter is really fine so it's very nice to apply the gel line over it if the glitter was thick or uh, chunky then it'll be difficult you'll have to use 
liquid liner. Now I'm going to apply these lashes by House of Lashes and first I'm going to apply a thin layer of their glue and this glue is latex free so whoever is allergic to latex can use this one and it smells very very nice. I'm going to wait for a few seconds for it to get tacky and then I'm going to place it in the center of my lash line first as close to the lash line as possible and I'm going to secure the sides with my tweezers or just use my fingers and just press your lashes together with these to kind of blend them. Then you can apply mascara if you want to. I did on my bottom lashes. Now I'm lining my lips and I use this lip liner first. I didn't like it because it was very rosy, orangey almost. So I had to darken it a little bit. I used MAC Whirl to darken it. And once it's nice and darkened, I'm going to apply some liquid lipstick. Actually, this one is a gloss and it's from Anastasia's collection. It's from her new collection and the name is Tara. So that's what I use today and this is how it looks like. It's toffee brownish. So this is it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I posted a contouring video before this one and one of my subscribers, her name is Ashley, she's actually getting married so um, asked me to actually post the video on the eye makeup and this is for Ashley. Congratulations to your wedding. I hope you enjoy this look and I hope you do a good job. I'm sure you will and you're going to look beautiful on your wedding day. Make sure you share your pictures and hashtag Miami eye makeup on Instagram so I can see them or you can email them if you want uh, me to see them privately. And if you guys want to see anything specific, please don't forget to drop me a comment and I will make your wish come true. God bless you and see you soon.